My name is Daryl Cannon. Uh, I am a torture survivor. Uh, it started November 2nd, 1983, about 6.30 in the morning. A group of all-white detectives, not police officers, but detectives, invaded my apartment. These were a special uh, um, unit led by John Burge. That day was a very vicious day for me. They tortured me until I was willing to say my mother committed a crime, if they wanted me to, uh, because John Burge and his crew knew exactly how to break the human body down. I was convicted of a murder where there was no witnesses, no evidence, no anything, nothing but a, a forced confession. And through the years, the judicial system did not help me, but now 24 years has elapsed uh, during all that time there. And the detectives involved in my case continued uh, to have their freedom continue to move about, uh, but yet and still evidence started to mount more and more that these particular detectives were in fact involved in police torture. And as a result of that, it has led us to where we are today. You know, I'm a free man. It's torturous any time I have to talk about this here, but it would be more torturous if I didn't because I'm blessed. Uh, I had a team of lawyers who did in fact believe in me. And that's why now it's my turn and it's Anthony's turn uh, for us to speak up for those who are still in prison who have yet to receive a fair and impartial hearing. And we don't want the city to ever forget or to allow these atrocities to happen again. That's why we're asking for rep rep reparations and we're asking that a permanent memorial uh, be built. So as long as God allow us to wake up every day, uh, we are going to beat the drums to see that this happens and to say to Chicago, never again.